everyone. Good evening and welcome to News Center. I'm Carl Gibson. A man was arrested on drug charges last week at the Moorhead Walmart when he allegedly attempted to shoplift while claiming to be armed with a weapon. 24-year-old Gregory M. Atkins Jr. was taken into custody and transported to the Rowan County Detention Center. After an investigation at the scene, no weapon was found. However, Adkins did have drugs in his possession. The store manager decided to let him pay for the stolen items instead of prosecuting him. Adkins was charged with two counts of second-degree prescription controlled substances, not in original containers, and third-degree possession of a controlled substance. Mayor Brad Collins will have his last day in office tomorrow. Collins is retiring from his job in Moorhead City Hall. On, Tues on Tuesday, friends and employees gathered in the Moorhead Conference Center to wish him farewell. Collins was honored by the Kentucky League of Cities and several other organizations for his 16-year-long service to the city of Moorhead, Rowan County, and all cities across the state. Moorhead State President Wayne Andrews told New Center Collins was an integral part in the good relationship between the university and the city. The Moorhead City Council is set to elect one of their members, David Perkins, to serve as mayor for the remainder of the term. In other news, a Kenton County dentist and his wife were found shot to death yesterday in their Grant County home. Police responded to the house on Kentucky 36 shortly after 9 a.m. after receiving a call that the dentist had not shown up for work and could not be reached by phone. Police entered the home through an unlocked rear door and found the bodies of 53-year-old Terrence Bramlage and his wife Linda Bramlage in the lower level of the house. Kentucky State Police Captain Mike Crawford said the couple's vehicles were in the driveway when police arrived. Crawford said police are not releasing the nature of the injuries pending an autopsy. Investigators are confident that the incident is a double homicide. And a Golden Tabernacle was stolen from the St. Clair Regional Medical Center's chapel on November 23rd. Police say that the item, which is worth more than $1,000, was taken by force when someone pried it off a shelf and set it outside of a window before going outside and taking it. The security officer on duty noticed it was missing just after 10 p.m. Officer, officer Steve Myers is working on the case. The police request that anyone with information about the missing tabernacle call the police department. That's all for News Center this week. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good evening. Welcome to New Center Sports, I'm Mike Williams. The MSU tennis team has recruited a young standout from Barbados, Bradley Bryan, to begin classes and play for the Eagles this January. Bryan has raised his world record from the ranking of 700s in August up to number 569 in the International Tennis Federation World Rankings. MSU head coach Kevin Fulton says that he is a difference maker and will play high in the lineup immediately. Bryan is the fourth newcomer to the team and is current living, currently living in Florida and training at the Bill Adams Tennis Academy. The Moorhead State Soccer Eagles were victorious in their home opener against Georgetown College 2-0 last Thursday. Senior, Rebecca For Senior forward Rebecca Kendall scored the first goal of the matchup in the 71st minute. Kendall is just seven goals back from the all-time scoring record for MSU rookie Aaron Adams. Put the game away the 73rd minute with a goal of her own. The team finished the match with 30 shots, led by Kendall with 10, while Georgetown was denied a single goal on the second half. At 1-1 one, at one one on the season, the Soccer Eagles start a four-game road trip this weekend when they travel to number 22 Purdue on Friday at 4 p.m. Sunday, the Eagles will travel to Illinois State. Game time is set for 1 p.m. The Moorhead State cross-country team continues their season opener tomorrow at the Sanford Invitational. On September 4th, the teams participated in the University of Dayton Meyer 5K, which was the first meet for both teams. The men's and women's runners finished fifth overall in their divisions. On the women's side, Jessica Rise was the top runner or top finisher as she placed with ninth with a time of 19 minutes. As for the men, Ron Duncan was the top runner, placing 13th with a time of 15 minutes and 51 seconds. The meet tomorrow at Sanford kicks off at 6.45 p.m. Head coaches from the Ohio Valley Conference met in Nashville yesterday for its annual media day. Austin P. and Southeast Missouri have been tabbed as the preseason winners of the OVC. The governors received 19 of 22 winners of the OVC on the men's side. The Lady Redhawks also received 19 first place voters. The conference coaches predicted Moorhead State's men basketball team to finish 10th out of the 11 teams this season, while the Lady Eagles were predicted to finish 8th. Neither MSU teams had 
any player on the preseason all of OVC teams. Both squads are set to begin practices for the upcoming season this week. And that's all for sports. Stay tuned for more local news right after the break. Good evening and welcome to News Center. I'm Savannah. Good evening and welcome to News Center. I'm Savannah Varble. A man was arrested on drug charges last week at the Moorhead Walmart when he allegedly attempted to shoplift while claiming to be armed with a weapon. 24-year-old Gregory M. Adkins Jr. was taken into custody and transported to the Round County Detention Center. After an investigation at the scene, no weapon was found. However, Adkins did, did have drugs in his possession. The store manager decided to let him pay for the stolen items instead of prosecuting him. Adkins was charged with two counts of second-degree prescription controlled substances not in original containers and third-degree possession of a controlled substance. Mayor Brad Collins will have his last day in office tomorrow. Collins is retiring from his job in Moorhead City Hall on Tuesday. Friends and employees gathered in the Moorhead Conference Center to wish him farewell. Collins was honored by the Kentucky League of Cities and several other organizations for his 16-year-long service to the city of Moorhead, Rowan County, and all cities across the state. Moorhead State President Wayne Andrews told News Center Collins was an integral part of the good relationship between the university and the city. The Moorhead City Council is set to elect one of their members, David Perkins, to serve as mayor for the remainder of the term. A Kenton County dentist and his wife were found shot to death yesterday in their Grant County home. Police responded to the house on Kentucky 36 shortly after 9 a.m. after receiving a call that the dentist had not shown up for work and could not be reached by phone. Police entered the home through an unlocked rear door and found the bodies of 53-year-old Terrence Bramlage and his wife Linda Bramlage in the lower level of the house. Kentucky State Police Captain Mike Crawford said the couple's vehicles were in the driveway when the police arrived. Crawford said police are not releasing the nature of the injuries pending an autopsy. Investigators are confident that the incident is a double homicide. A Golden Tabernacle was stolen from the St. Clair Regional Medical Center's chapel on November 23rd. Police say that the item, which is worth more than $1,000, was taken by force. When someone, excuse me, pried it off a shelf and sent it outside of the window before going outside and taking it. The security officer on duty noticed it was missing just after 10 p.m. Officer Steve Myers is working on the case. The, poli the police requests that anyone with information about the missing tabernacle call the police department. That's all for News Center this week. Thanks for watching. Hello, I'm Chris Johnson here with your News Center weather. Uh, let's take a look at some current conditions here in Moorhead. Right now, looking at partly sunny conditions as a, high, a cool high of 29 degrees. Your barometric pressure is 30 and steady, and your winds are southwest at 9 miles an hour. Look at some temperatures across, across the bluegrass region. Got uh, 25 in Lexington, looking 29 down in Jackson, uh, 29 down in London. Uh, cold 22 up in Covington, looking at 27 over in Louisville in the western part of the state, down in Bowling Green looking at 29 as well. Let's take a look at the WKYT first alert weather, what, <laughs> weather, wait, I can't even say it, radar. And we got some precipitation to move through last night, had some gusty winds, uh, picked up about half an inch to three quarters of an inch of rain, had some winds gust up to 50 miles an hour. Some wind damage was around, uh, reported here in Moorhead, but nothing more than that. Uh, let's take a look at your national radar. Uh, as you can see, had that low move through the area, uh, it pushed off to the coast. Uh, parts of New Hampshire and Vermont picking up some rain snow mix as uh, Maine gets the rest of that storms that we had moved through here. Some local, uh, some local rain uh, picked up, you know, a few inches of snow up in New Hampshire. Uh, looking at some rain, maybe half an inch. Some strong thunderstorms actually up in Maine. Uncommon for this time of the year. And for your five-day forecast, look for Friday. Uh, to warm up to 40, looking for an uh, early morning sh snow shower, too. Uh, your high reaches, it's going to turn over to rain. The low is going to be 27. Saturday, look for partly sunny conditions. 
as the highs reach the 50 degree mark, it's going to be 49, uh, the low of 35. Sunday, look for more chances of rain to move in through the area with a high of 53 and a low of 40. And to kick off your work week, look for more of the same with rain, the high of 57, a little warmer, and a low of 56. And Tuesday, look for mostly cloudy conditions as the high reaches near 60 degrees with a high of 58 and a low of 39. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome to New Center Sports. I'm H.J. Adams. The MSU tennis team has recruited a young standout from Barbados, Bradley Bryan, to begin classes and play for the Eagles this January. Bryan has raised his world ranking from 700s in August up to 569 in the International Tennis Federation world rankings. MSU head tennis coach Kevin Fulton said that he is a difference maker and will play high in the lineup immediately. Bryan is the fourth newcomer to the team and is currently living in Florida and training at the Bill Adams Tennis Academy. The Moorhead State Soccer Eagles were victorious in their home opener against Georgetown College 2-0 last Thursday. Senior forward Rebecca Kendall scored the first goal of the match in the 71st minute. Kendall is just seven goals back from the all-time scoring record for MSU. Rookie Aaron Adams put the game away in the 73rd minute with a goal of her own. The team finished the match with 30 shots, led by Kendall with 10, while Georgetown was denied a single shot on goal in the second half. At 1-1 one one on the season, the Soccer Eagles start a four-game road trip this weekend when they travel to number 22 Purdue on Friday at 4 p.m. Sunday, the Eagles will travel to Illinois State. Game time is set for 1 p.m. The Moorhead State cross-country teams continue their season tomorrow at the Sanford Invitational. On September 4th, the teams participated in the University of Dayton Meyer Flyer 5K, which was the first meet for both teams. The men and women's runners finished fifth overall in their divisions. On the women's side, Jessica Reyes was the top finisher as she placed ninth with a time of 19 minutes. As for the men, Ron Dunker was the top runner placing 13th with a time of 15 minutes and 51 seconds. The meet tomorrow at Sanford kicks off at 6.45 p.m. Head coaches from the Ohio Valley Conference met in Nashville yesterday for its annual media day. Austin Peay and Southeast Missouri State have been tabbed as the preseason winners of the OVC. The governors received 19 of 22 first place votes on the men's side. The Lady Red Hawks also received 19 first place votes. The conference coaches predicted the Moorhead State men's basketball team to finish 10th out of 11 teams this season, while the Lady Eagles were predicted to finish 8th. Neither MSU teams had any players on the preseason All-OVC teams. Both squads are set to begin practices for the upcoming season this week. That's all for sports this week. Stay tuned for more local news right after the break. Good evening and welcome to News Center. I'm Amber. A man was arrested on drug charges last week at the Moorhead Walmart when he allegedly attempted to shoplift while claiming to be armed with a weapon. 24-year-old Gregory M. Adkins Jr. was taken into custody and transported to the Round County Detention Center after an investigation at the scene. No weapon was found. However, Adkins did have drugs in his possession. The store manager decided to let him pay for the stolen item instead of prosecuting him. Adkins was charged with two counts of second-degree prescription-controlled substances, not in the original containers, and third-degree possession of controlled substances. Mayor Brad Collins will have his last day in office tomorrow. Collins was returning from his job in Moorhead City Hall. On Tuesday, friends and employees gathered in the Moorhead Conference Center to wish him farewell. Collins was honored by the Kentucky League of Cities and several other organizations for his 16-year-long service of the city of Brown, Moorhead, Brown County, and all the cities across the state. 
Moorhead State's w President Wayne Andrews told News Center, Collins was an integral part of the good relationship between the university and the city. The Moorhead City Council is set to elect one of their members, David Perkins, to serve as mayor of the remainder of the term. A Kenton County dentist and his wife were found shot to death yesterday in their Grant County home. Police responded to the house on Kentucky 36 shortly after 9 a.m. After receiving that call, the dentist had not shown up for work and could not be reached by phone. Police entered their home through an unlocked rear door and found the bodies of 53-year-old Terrence Bramlage and his wife Linda Bramlage in the lower level of their house. Kentucky State Police Captain Mike Crawford said the couple's vehicles were driven when the driveway when police arrested. Crawford said police are not releasing the nature of the injuries pending on an autopsy. Investigators are confident that the incident is a double homicide. A golden tabernacle was stolen from St. Clair Regional Medical Center Chapel on November 23rd. Police say that the item is worth more than $1,000 and was taken by force when someone pried it off a shelf and set it outside of a window before going outside and taking it. The security officer on duty noticed it was missing just after 10 p.m. Officer Steve Mayers is working on the case. The police request that anyone with information about the missing tabernacle please call the police department. That's all for News Center this week. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome to News Center Sports. I'm Jack Keyes. The MSU tennis team has recruited a young standout from Barbados, Bradley Bryan, to begin classes and play for the Eagles this January. Bryan has raised his world rankings from the 700s in August up to the number 569 in the International Tennis Federation World Rankings. MSU head tennis coach Kevin Fulton said that he is a difference maker and will play high in the lineup immediately. Bryan is the fourth newcomer to the team and is currently living in Florida and training at the Bill Adams Tennis Academy. The Morehead State Soccer Eagles were victorious in their home opener against Georgetown College 2-0 last Thursday. Senior forward Rebecca Kendall scored the first goal of the match in the 71st minute. Kendall is just seven goals back from the all-time scoring record for MSU. Ricky Aaron Adams put the game away in the 73rd minute with a goal of her own. The team finished the match with 30 shots, led by Kendall with 10, while Georgetown was denied a single shot on goal in the second half. At 1-1 one, one one on the season, the Soccer Eagles start a four-game road trip this weekend when they travel to number 22 Purdue on Friday at 4 p.m. Sunday, the Eagles will travel to Illinois State. Game time is set for 1 p.m. A Kenton County dentist and his wife were found shot to death yesterday in their Grant County home. Police responded to the house on Kentucky 36 shortly after 9 a.m. after receiving a call that the dentist had not shown up for work and could not be reached by phone. Police entered the home through an unlocked rear door and found the bodies of 53-year-old Terrence Bromlidge and his wife Linda Bromlidge in the lower level of the house. Kentucky State Police Captain Mike Crawford said the couple's vehicles were in the driveway when police arrived. Crawford said police are not releasing the nature of the, of the injuries pending an autopsy. Investigators are confident that the inc incident is a double homicide. A golden tabernacle was stolen from the St. Clair Regional Medical Center's chapel on November 23rd. Police say that the item, which is worth more than $1,000, was taken by force when someone pried it off a shelf and set it outside a window before going outside and taking it. The security officer on duty noticed it was, just miss it was missing just after 10 p.m. Officer Steve Myers is working on the case. The police request that anyone with information about the missing tabernacle call the police department. That's all for News Center this, this week. Thanks for watching. Good evening and welcome to News Center. I'm Nicole Back. 
A man was arrested on drug charges last week at the Moorhead Walmart when he allegedly attempted to shoplift while claiming to be armed with a weapon. 24-year-old Gregory M. Atkins Jr. was taken into custody and transported to the Rowan County Detention Center. After an investigation at the scene, no weapon was found. However, Adkins did have drugs in his possession. The store manager decided to let him pay for the stolen items instead of prosecuting him. He was charged with two counts of second-degree prescription controlled substances not in original containers and third-degree possession of a controlled substance. Mayor Brad Collins will have his last day in office tomorrow. Collins is retiring from his job in Moorhead City Hall. On Tuesday, friends and employees gathered in the Moorhead Conference Center to wish him farewell. Collins was honored by the Kentucky League of Cities and several other organizations for his 16-year-long service to the city of Moorhead, Rowan County, and all cities across the state. Moorhead State President Wayne Andrews told News Center Collins was an integral part of the good relationship between the university and the city. The Moorhead City Council is set to elect one of their members, David Perkins, to serve as the mayor for the remainder of the term. A Kenton County dentist and his wife were found shot yesterday in their Grant County home. Police responded to the house on Kentucky 36 shortly after 9 a.m. after receiving a call that the dentist had not shown up for work and could not be reached by phone. Police entered the home through the, an unlocked rear door and found the bodies of 53-year-old Terrence Bramlage and his wife Linda Bramlage in their home. On the lower level of the house, Kentucky State Police Captain Mike Crawford said the couple's vehicles were in the driveway when police arrived. Crawford said police are not releasing the nature of the injuries pending an autopsy. Investigators are confident that the incident is a double homicide. A golden tabernacle was stolen, stolen from the St. Clair Regional Medical Center's chapel on November 23rd. Police say the item, which is worth more than $1,000, was taken by force when someone pried it off a shelf and set it outside a window before going outside and taking it. The security officer on duty noticed it was missing just after 10 p.m., Officer Steve Myers is working on the case. The police request that anyone with information about the missing tabernacle, tabernacle call the police department. That's all for News Center this week. Thanks for watching. Good evening and welcome to News Center. I'm Carlo Angara. A man was arrested on drug charges last week at the Moorhead Walmart when he allegedly attempted to shoplift while claiming to be armed with a weapon. 24-year-old Gregory M. Atkins Jr. was taken into custody and transported to the Rowan County Detention Center. After an investigation at the scene, no weapon was found. However, Atkins did have drugs in his possession. The store manager decided to let him pay for the stolen item instead of prosecuting him. Atkins was charged with two counts of second-degree prescription control substances, not in original containers, and third-degree possession of a controlled substance. Mayor Brad Collins will have his last day in office tomorrow. Collins is retiring from his job in Moorhead City Hall. On Tuesday, friends and employees gathered in the Moorhead Conference Center to wish him farewell. Collins was honored by the Kentucky League of Cities and several other organizations for his 16-year-long service to the city of Moorhead, Rowan County, and all cities across the state. Moorhead State President Wayne Andrews told News Center Collins was an integral part in the good relationship between the university and the city. The Moorhead City Council is set to elect one of their members, David Perkins, to serve as mayor for the rem remainder of the term. A Kenton County dentist and his wife were found shot to death yesterday at their Grand County home. Police responded to the house on Kentucky 36 shortly after 9 a.m after receiving a call that the dentist had not shown up for work and could not be reached by phone. Police entered the home through an unlocked rear door and found the bodies of 53-year-old Terrence Bramlage and his wife Linda Bramlage in the lower level of the house. Kentucky State Police Captain Mike Crawford said the couple's vehicles were in the driveway when police arrived. Crawford said police are not releasing the nature of the in injuries pending an aut aut autopsy. Investigators are confident that the incident is a double homicide. A golden tabernacle was stolen from the St. Clair Regional Medical Center's chapel on November 23rd. Police say that the item, which is worth more than $1,000, was taken by force when someone pried it off a shelf and set it outside of a window before going outside and taking it. The security officers on duty noticed it was missing just after 10 p.m. 
Officer Steve Myers is working on the case. The police request that anyone with information about the missing tabernacle call the police department. That's all for News Center this week. Thanks for watching. West a little bit warmer with 27 degrees in Louisville and Bowling Green at 29. Fifteen seconds. Two, one. Hi, and welcome to New Center Weather. Let's have a look at the current conditions here in Moorhead. It's about partly sunny out there, but pretty cold at around 29 degrees. And barometric pressure at about 30.01 bars. So we expect a little bit of a wind out there coming from the southwest at around nine miles per hour. Let's look at the current temperatures around the state. The, uh, it's pretty cold in the western and central part of the state. We have uh, about 29 degrees in Bowling Green, 27 in Louisville currently, 25 in Frankfurt, and even a little bit colder up in northern Kentucky, Covington with 22 degrees. Over in our part of the state, in eastern Kentucky, Lexington has about 25 degrees Fahrenheit, Jackson 29, and as well, London 29. And the reason why it's so cold out there, there's no cloud coverage to keep the temperature uh, here. It's probably going to get a little bit uh, colder overnight, especially if you look across the state. There's hardly any cloud coverage, a little bit up towards Ohio, but everything else is pretty much cloud free. Let's have a look across the nation. Um, it's pretty dry, especially in the southern part of the US. We expect a few rain showers around Corpus Christi in Texas and a few around Florida, especially around the Orlando area. And it's going to be a little bit wetter weather up in New England, especially in Maine. They expect a lot of rain up there and also in in Washington State and Oregon around Seattle, there we expect a lot of rain, especially in the next days. And if we look at the Rocky Mountain area, we expect some snow there, even in New Mexico. So there is a good change, chance you could go skiing over the spring break. Let's have a look at the next uh, few days here in the Moorhead Round County area. On Friday, we even expect a little bit of snow here in Moorhead with uh, highs of 40, lows of uh, 27 degrees. Saturday, warmer and a little bit of sunshine, high 49, low 35. It's going to get a little bit warmer on Sunday and Monday with uh, highs of around 53 to 57, but there's a little chance of rain. And on Tuesday, a thick cloud coverage and a little bit warmer with highs of 58 and lows of 39. 